Hello. Long Live Junction again. Another new addition to the fleet. A HS for the HSP. DC and the DC line. I wasn't going to do this video today, but um, I managed to alter the track to take the HST at the station. So, you can see she's running very nice. It's an old GV one. So, you know, from the 80s, I expect. She runs really nice. The motor's like brand new. Little drop of oil. A little bit of a cajoling to get her going and look at her nose, she's fine. So, I've altered some track. That's a pinch of a track from here. To make it happen, so I can just, you know. So what we've done, basically, just talk this a little quickly while the HST is having a run. I got this, oh by the way, this, I got this HST. Um, I've got a chap off YouTube, Mark Oiland. His channel is Piddle in the Marsh, Engage. And we've been talking for some time. And he's, I'd said in one of the previous videos I was looking for a cheap HSTs, a couple of cheap HSTs. And lo and behold, there was one in his local shop. So he said, you know, 40 quid. So he said, Do you want. I said, yeah, go on. So um, he was working over this way. So he, I met him this morning and he passed it over to me. So thank you, Mark, good enough. A lovely runner. It's always an earnest risk going second hand stuff, but this one's turned out to be a real gem. So leave the punch. I've got to get some lights for it and stuff like that. It's really so nice, I think I'll probably put a chip in it and, and move it onto the, onto the DC line. It's such a nice runner. I already had a couple of coaches, I had two coaches with it as well. So, pleased with that. So that was the impetus to alter the track, which I've done. So let's start over here where they started taking the crossovers out there, because I don't know if it's a bit of yard gone. So they're gone, point motors are gone, they're all by there. I'll be using them elsewhere. I've got the pinch bits of track to sort of make it happen. And I've altered the track in the station in the like this. And uh, that's going to a siding there with the chunk of this. Then there'll be another siding where that green squiggly line is coming up and going up, up the centre there. So I've got two sidings and I've extended the, I could probably get another coach on here, an overhook of it. Oh yeah, no problem. Um, I've extended the station to take along the train. Because originally I was only going to run uh, DNUs, but then I thought, well, because I got the two brands, so I'd like to swap over the full end. So that's what we've done. We've taken the crossovers out here. They're gone. Point motors are going to be used up on top, the seven is. And I put a point in there, so I'm going to have to get some track and curl, curve one around there. And you can see that small, and that runs up and picks up just under the controller there, where the um, up down is for the branch, upper branch. So I'm going to put a piece in there, and what I'll probably do is put two plastic joiners in there, so I can isolate this bottom section to park a train. So that'll be another handy little park up. So yeah, it's all good. Um, also, I did, I did explain the other day, there's a point, that that point's going to go in there. And uh, these are both the wrong hand really, but I'll probably do something like this. Put that in there, put that in there. I'll put a side in there, up against the embankment and then run one through where this is, up to this platform up here somewhere. So yeah, so I need to get about five or six lengths of track and some fish plates. I want to finish that then, so I'll order all that tomorrow. Have it Tuesday. And we'll um, 
yet another change has, has been completed. So, in a couple of hours, we totally altered the outlook of the ranch line. That's all it is, just reporting in with a new, a little bit of new news, that's all. I'll leave you with a change for two minutes, so I'll catch you again. Did you the end of the week, probably, you know? I used a little bit there, but that's, that's what the locomotive's for. The power uh, seems to reduce. It needs another couple of feeds for it, or a little jumper into there. It's this little section here. So that's not the locomotive. There's, there's no feed, see? They're all the way down in the other corner where we just where the station is. So I took a chance on it. It works, but they, they do run out of steam by earth. But not a problem. Same up there. That one runs out of steam. So I'll have to um, jump that across as well or something. That's no problem. Oh, nice boy. Beautiful. Thank you, Mark, very much. Right, I'm off. I'll touch you again. Maybe there won't be any changes next time we come. Just the ones you know about. Make a change.